Neil deGrasse Tyson is director of the Hayden Planetarium here in New York. We're pleased to have him here. Help us understand. Hi, good morning. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> uh, what might they have here, and why is it important? Okay, I don't, I don't have clairvoyance right. for what will be announced in the press conference, but there's but talk. Among there, them. There's talk and it's probably not that they found evidence for water because we have already accumulated evidence for water. And if it was something that crawled out from under a rock, that would have just shown up in the photos. Yeah. <laughs> and we just say, here's the evidence for life. So what we're really looking for here is uh, organic molecules. Uh, this is this place where Curiosity landed is at the base of a stream where anything that would have accumulated on the full length mm -hmm. of what was previously running water uh, would be deposited down there. So it's yeah. kind of a, it's a one-stop shopping for instead of searching uh, for the full length of the stream's length, you mm -hmm. can just look at the basin where it would have all been deposited. So any chance that there was organics up the length of the stream, it possibly could be right where the the craft is landing. So those of us that are not astrophysicists like <laughs> uh -huh. yourself, um, what's the significance? Speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> what's the significance of organic molecules? Yeah, so together? organic, you know, you can start, you look at the periodic table of elements and there are all these ingredients there. If you put, some of them are found in life. Yeah. And if you find those ingredients, that's a start. Then you can find versions of those ingredients that have combined to make molecules that you find in life. Does this surprise you at all, this, these discoveries? Well, Mars was, has been tantalizing us for centuries, yeah. and, and it's, got, you know, it's got polar ice caps, it's a 24-hour day, it's, you know, so we're thinking if there's life anywhere in the universe other than Earth, Mars would be is the target. Is it red? Mars is red for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's uh, but it's not the blood of, uh, yeah. I mean, as... Here's the question. Mm -hmm. Free think. What might it be, it, it, beyond your fondest imagination? Yeah, so it could, you know, they're pulling back on the original amazing announcement, right. and I think complex organic molecules. No. If I were to bet, that's what I would bet. So NASA isn't the only one making discoveries. No. It was reported just recently that you were able to find Superman's home planet of Krypton? Well, his home star, his yes. Home star, I was yes. approached by DC Comics and they mm -hmm. said, can we show you at the planetarium pointing out Krypton to Superman? Yeah. I said. Sure, you know, as a longtime resident of Metropolis, yes. you know, at least I could do is help Superman. Um, but we, I said, I can actually give you a real star that yeah. would correspond at the, at, the, at the right distance and at the right temperature. And so we found a star. It's red. It's at the right distance. And mm -hmm. I handed it to DC Comics, and now it's official. That's you know, great. let me go back to the question, because you misunderstood and here we have the, I we said have, We have the comic right yeah. here, which, oh, is, yes. okay. which yeah. is very, very cool. I love that, which I think is great for getting people, again, interested in space and all kinds of things. Yeah, Yeah. so there I am. With, I have my vest on in that, in that photo. <laughs> Thank you, thanks for pointing that out. Yes. Yeah. All of this exploration, what are we looking for? Are we looking for life in yeah. some form? Is that what it's about you know, and Na what Mars might have been? That's what I meant. I'm uh, sorry. Okay, so yeah. NASA has followed the, 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 the edict, track the water wherever right. it might be in the solar system because life on Earth requires liquid water. So any place you find water, there's, it ups the likelihood that you might yeah. be finding life, or at least life as we know it. And so this is what's driving uh, the entire frontier of exploration. Mercury, the closest planet to the right. sun, we just found water on the poles down where the sun don't yeah. shine. <laughs> Near the poles, <laughs> if you have a crater, the rim is higher than the level of the sun, and you can trap water down there, it would never evaporate. You've got water on Mercury, too. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Neil deGrasse Tyson, thank you so much. Thank you. And his six part TV series, The Inexplicable Universe Unsolved Mysteries, is now available on DVD.